All right, so Tesla's been in the news recently because their new, their brand new Tesla Semi has been having some brake recalls, and that sounds really bad. And don't get me wrong, it is bad, but if you just go to the likes of CNBC, you see Tesla issues recall on Semi over defective brake module roll away risk, or from the drive. Tesla Semi recalled already, parking brake may fail. Or uh, you can go to any number or, you know, CNN business. The Tesla Semi is getting recalled for faulty parking brakes. It was all over the mainstream news. And here's just a Google search. And actually, let's do it in incognito mode so we know it's not getting biases. Uh, Tesla Semi brake recall. And you can see Forbes, Tesla electric semi recalled after just a few months. Uh, CNN, CNBC, CBS News, Electric, The Drive, Autoblog, Inside EVs, Fox Business, everyone is covering this Tesla Semi recall. Now, as you've probably guessed if you watch this channel very often, the truth is way more nuanced. So I did a little bit of digging. While yes, you can see the Tesla Semi clearly did have a recall, uh, what does that mean for the industry at large? When was the last time you heard about a semi truck recall? I can tell you personally, I don't think I've ever heard of one. And it's not because they don't happen, it's just because the mainstream news doesn't cover stuff like that. It's weird for them to cover stuff like that. But of course, it's Tesla, so any negative news they're going to cover. So let's dive in, and I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this because I was absolutely shocked at just how dishonest the media is being right now. So let's go. If we look right here at the NHTSA, we can get all the recall information, and using this data, I was able to look up if Tesla is getting a custom made part or if other people use that part. And you're gonna get a kick out of this. It turns out they're using air brakes from, it's called, a, it's a supplier called Bendix and Bendix is the most popular air brake supplier in the world for semi trucks. In fact, look at this. The ADB22X accounts for about 75% of North America's class six to class eight air disc brakes. Class 8 is a semi truck. So look at that. This this air brake from Bendix is incredibly popular. About 75% of trucks use them in North America, and you can tell North American commercial truck manufacturers including Daimler Trucks North America, International, Kenworth, Mack, Peterbilt, and Volvo. So basically all of the biggest trucks truck manufacturers use these exact brakes. It's not just Tesla, and I think you're probably getting an idea as to where this is going, but let's keep digging. Um, so we know, because the mainstream media told us that Tesla is getting these recalls on these truck brakes. Um, but what about everybody else? Well, if you do some looking, it turns out Tesla isn't the only one that uses these air brakes. Everyone uses these air brakes. And so I just pulled up some other safety recalls for these air brakes uh, recently. And you can tell Thomas Built also got a recall for these air brakes. You got a bunch of them. Oh, and Daimler also got also got a recall right here. Daimler Trucks North America. And this is the most recent one. This is the one, I think, in the same recall batch as Tesla, although it's a little hard to tell because they use different parts numbers based on the manufacturer that's using them. But it looks like this is the same exact recall um, which was happening in February. This one that hit the mainstream media uh, at the beginning of April, but I think this is the one it is. And look, you have Kenworth, a huge trucking brand. Kenworth, Kenworth, Kenworth. It's affecting all of these trucks. Um, Peterbilt, it's affecting all of these trucks. The point being, while the mainstream media is only going to cover that Tesla had a recall on their semis, everyone had a recall on, the, on their semi brakes because everyone uses the same brake. And just for some reference, because I thought this, I got a kick out of this. Uh, Tesla has sold anywhere from like the mid 30s to up to 100 semis. And in the US, the new retail sales of heavy duty trucks in the US from 2001 to, to 2020, you can tell they sell anywhere from a low of 300,000 to a high of nearly a million, which would put Tesla, if you were to round their semi truck sales to the nearest percentage, it would put Tesla at about 0% of the semi truck sales in the US. And yet, when they get the recall that every other truck manufacturer is getting for their air brakes, they make major news. Like CNBC is like, we have to cover this Tesla semi recall. Uh, we have to cover it, even though 
every other truck manufacturer experienced the exact same recall, but you will never hear about that in the news. Also, check this out. If we just do an incognito search so we can get rid of some of Google's biasing, then we just say uh, semi air brake recall. That doesn't say anything about Tesla. It just says semi air brake recall. Look at this article, Tesla, 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 Tesla. There, that's that's the first one that's also includes the Kenworth and Peterbilt, which is regarding the exact same thing. Tesla, 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 Daimler, there we go. There's the exact same thing. Recalls more than 70,000 trucks due to brake issue. That's what Tesla, that's the same problem Tesla's having, but they're only going to cover Tesla. I mean, look at this. It's like top one, two, three, four articles. Then you have one, then five, six, seven articles, man. It's like the whole, and how many people really scroll down? Probably the first few results on Google, these first ones, especially if people see that, hey, they're all pretty much the same. That's what people are going to see. It just gives you some perspective on how biased and slanted the media outlets are towards Tesla, where they're like, oh, this is a huge deal. We have to cover it when Tesla's involved, even though it only affects 35 trucks, which presumably was how many trucks they had on the road, because I think all of them were probably affected. Um, but other companies are going to have thousands of trucks affected or more than that, possibly. I mean, Bendix themselves, uh, they what did they say they sell? Like 45 million part air brakes and counting. So yeah, there are going to be presumably thousands of recalls and yet the mainstream media will never cover anyone else's recalls. They're only going to cover Tesla. So I just thought we should clear this up. It's not that Tesla Semi is having any unique to them problems. It's just that a supplier that they got their air disc brakes from, which everyone gets their air disc brakes from, had a recall and Tesla was affected, but so was everyone else. But it's just so biased in the media. All right, with that being said, if you appreciate someone cutting through the bullshit to say how it actually is, which is that Tesla is not unique in these truck recalls, then consider subscribing. And if you wanna help out the channel, then consider supporting me on Patreon. I've done a pretty bad job at saying thank you to you guys on Patreon lately. I have no excuse, It's I just haven't done a good job of it. But thank you to these people for supporting me on Patreon and keeping the channel going. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do it. If you wanna see more coverage like this, where I cover how the media treats Tesla versus how they treat everyone else, or just big conspiracy theory type things, then consider supporting me on Patreon and join these wonderful people. Oh, also, I was doing pull-ups. I got this new pull-up bar for my door frame. And I don't know if you can see it, but I did a pull-up this morning and I was grabbing on the wrong side of the bar, but I just wasn't thinking. And I did a pull-up and I nailed my nose on the top of the door frame and it was bleeding. Now my nose is swollen. It doesn't look like much. I mean, it really isn't much, but it shocked me because I went up and I just smashed my face into the door frame. So now there's like a little blood spot on there. And uh, I, I learned a thing or two. I learned a thing or two. Don't do pull-ups backwards in your door frame or you're not gonna enjoy it. All right, I'll see you guys later.